All right, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very fresh and new episode of our How To series. This is the series where I give you all my hints and tips and show you how to do little bits and bobs for Planet Zoo. Now, today is a very different episode uh, to what we've done in the past, but this is something I've been asked by numerous people as a result of me using this mod in uh, Tropical Wings, uh, basically. People really like the fact that um, you can use this mod and you just get a bit more creative freedom basically and what we're talking about is the boxless shop mod now a few people have asked about it and i've said yep that's the mod i'm using and so on and so on they've gone to try to install it and they're a little confused at how to do it so they've asked me if i would mind doing a very quick tutorial on how to install the mod now what i will say first and foremost is that frontier do not support mods okay so anything that goes wrong it's a risk that you have to take um, so i'm just going to throw that out there first and foremost because I think it's an important information that you should know so you know if you're going to use the mod and something goes wrong with your zoo you can't go to Frontier and say look this has happened because Frontier don't care they don't support the mod so it's, it is a risk you've got to take so do keep that in mind but um, this should hopefully be a relatively quick tutorial um, I'm not going to be able to do it you know properly step for step because I've already installed this mod on my game and when I tried to reset it uh, I actually run into some problems so it comes back to that point I've already made okay so I will do my best to show you exactly how it's done it's really simple when you get shown so just stick with me gang and let's do this so first and foremost you need to head to nexusmods.com this is the website that you're going to be getting the mod from and I will throw it out there this is where all the mods for Planet Zoo are so if you're looking to do any of the modded animals as well they can all be located on here um, I can't unfortunately show you how to do that because I've never installed a modded animal on the game I am thinking about it because there's some pretty amazing modded birds and um you know me gang i'm all for the birds in the game and uh we don't have enough of them in my opinion but head to nexusmods.com set yourself up a, a profile because you will need to have a profile and log in and whatnot and then once you've done that you want to just go to the search bar and just put in boxless so you put in boxless you will see there's boxless terrain as well both these mods were made by even who is better known as wed on uh, youtube uh, and then just click on boxless shops and this is the mod here this is the mod that you're going to be using okay um so you will see the first thing is a description it tells you about the mod okay just removes the shells from the building um but you should also see hey, the disclaimers there as well that the mod's not supported by frontier the assets were provided by Frontier though. And then the instructions are there. Now, for whatever reason, when you when you um, copy and paste this one here, which is the first folder you need to go to, when you try to just press enter and find it, it won't find that. So there is a step before, and all it is, you have to head into your C drive to then do it, okay? So the steps are all there. But first and foremost, what you want to do is you want to go to Files, scroll down to the bottom, because this is the most up-to-date version, Go to your mod manager um, here, and you just want to download it, basically. Okay, so I will down I will download it um, because then I can show you exactly how the file appears. Because you'll probably have to rip it out of a folder. Um, you have oh, this is probably because I've already downloaded it. Okay, this is probably why it won't let me download. Okay, but anyway, you want to download this, and then it's going to go into a folder. Um, so if we go back to the description. Um, you'll see that th there are there are files basically. There's two folders uh, within this one mod, and they're just going to need to be copy and pasted to where this section is. Okay, so once you've downloaded those, you'll have some folders, um, and they will look a little something like this, like this, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so um, th these are the sort of folders that you're going to download. Um, I can't remember exactly which ones it is in here that you replace. Um, I think it might be the IC information one and it might be the SH shops um, as well. They might only be, they might be the only two, but I'm pretty sure there's just a couple basically. So initially there will be folders in here. So if we just go back to this, you'll see the IC information center and the SH shops. You basically have to remove the original folders and then replace them with the ones that you've downloaded. Okay, do not delete these, whatever you do okay because if you ever want to take the mod off you need to put these back so what i did is i just cut them from the folder and i've backed them up in a separate section of my pc i've made a folder in my planet zoo 
file because I've literally got folders for days on my computer because of the nature of my job and being a YouTuber. So um, you just I just created a files folder in my Planet Zoo one and I just put them in there. So I know they're safe, they're elsewhere on my computer, but yeah, whatever you do, don't delete them. And then the folders that you've downloaded, you're literally just going to cut them from your extractive folder. You're going to go into here and you'll paste them into this so the, the 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 thing you need to know though if we just close this is the route to get to this folder okay um because it is complicated so you're going to go to your sort of file explorer you're going to go to this pc go to your c drive you're going to go to program files 86 you're going to go down to steam then you're going to go to steam apps you're then going to go to um common you're going to go to planet zoo you're going to go to Win64, OVL Data, Content Zero. Um, you're then going to go to Environment. You're going to go to Scenery. You're going to go to um, Facilities. And then you're in the folder you need. It's a long-winded place to get to. Um, but once you're here, you remove the two original folders, put them elsewhere on your computer, and then replace them with the folders that you downloaded. Um, and then what you want to do is close all this off, start your game up, and just see if it works. Now, the first time I downloaded this, it didn't work, okay? It took two attempts. I don't know why, but at the end of the day, mods are relatively unstable, um it's just the way that it is um because they're not actually officially made by you know the devs at the game there's things that devs can put in there that really just kind of like hammer home the, the stability in the game at the end of the day you're tampering with you know the files that are inside the game uh so it's one of those things unfortunately um i wish i could have downloaded and shown you a a bit clearer but because I've already got it installed and I tried to uninstall it and I run into problems I, I didn't want to mess my own you know projects up and I'm sure you can all appreciate that especially projects like you know the Tropical Wings one that I'm really into and I, I just didn't want to mess it up but that is the basics the basics basically that's how you do it um, and the same can be said for any of the other mods all of the all the stuff's there for you okay so just remember that when you're doing this the first two folders don't delete them back them up and then the x and the next two folders that's where you gotta put them it's as simple as that my friends i hope this helps i know it's probably there's probably better tutorials on how to do this out there on youtube but um i'm only doing it like this because i didn't want to mess my own game up but really hope it helps my friends um i'm going to be back with more build stuff soon i know i've done lots of tutorial stuff recently but um if you do like the how to and the let's build togethers um let me know by subscribing to the channel dropping likes on the video and leaving your comments below on other stuff you would like to see um if you want to talk to me a bit more you want to interact with me and the community a bit more go check out my discord that you can find in the description box below uh, we we're having a lot of fun over there at the moment and people are starting to share all their projects and i'm absolutely loving life so yeah feel free to go and become a member of that but until the next one my friends stay safe stay humble and i will see you real real soon